Of course, that's really hard to find. A case, same time, roughly similar kind of crime, roughly similar facts, but from a different political party, different political views, you're almost never going to find that, right? Well, amazingly, there might be a comparator like that in this Trump case. I couldn't believe it when I first read about it, but let me explain it to you. It involves Hillary Clinton. You got to remember the core of the case against Trump. What's the core of the case? Prosecution says Trump falsified business records. How? Well, he took some uh, campaign finance expenses. Those were the, that's the $130,000 in hush money paid to Stormy Daniels. The state says those were campaign expenses, but the Trump organization called them legal expenses. And that was false. That's what the prosecution says. That was false. They were campaign expenses, not legal expenses. And because they were campaign expenses, but not reported as such, that's a campaign finance violation. So that was the heart and remained the heart throughout the case of the prosecution's case against Trump. Now, here's what's so amazing. In 2022, just a couple years ago, the Federal Election Commission determined that the Hillary Clinton campaign had committed a campaign finance violation. What was it? They found that in 2016, the very same year that uh, these events concerning Trump uh, took place, that the Clinton campaign had paid money to fund the Steele dossier. You remember the Steele dossier was a report containing very scandalous and supposedly incriminating allegations against then candidate Trump. Well, we didn't know it at the time, but it turns out that the Steele dossier had been funded by the Clinton campaign. And when it was discovered that the Clinton campaign had funded uh, the Steele dossier, the Federal Election Commission started looking, well, how did you report those payments? And it turned out that the Clinton campaign had reported them as legal expenses. That's right, as legal expenses. And the FEC said, those weren't legal expenses. Those were campaign finance expenses. And that violates campaign finance law. You can't call campaign expenses legal expenses without reporting them. Well, that's a surprisingly similar set of facts. But here's the thing. They were never prosecuted by the New York district attorneys. And of course, the Clinton campaign was located, headquartered in New York City. So they could have been. And these facts had all come out by 2022, according to public records, there was never a single prosecution, not of Hillary Clinton, not of anybody associated with her campaign for falsifying business records to cover up a campaign finance violation, notwithstanding the fact that you got on the surface of it at least very similar facts. Now, I don't know all the facts of the Clinton campaign finance violation. I only know what's in the FEC public record. But if we accept that public record for what it is, it sure looks like a very similar case the Clinton campaign called campaign expenses legal expenses to cover up a campaign finance violation, but was never prosecuted for that by the district attorney in Manhattan. If that's true, well, that might be the kind of comparator the courts demand that might show selective prosecution.